Thank you. We will start, this is the Historic Preservation Commission meeting uh, for the City of Davenport, Tuesday, December 12th. Uh, can I get a call to order? Franken? Here. Miranda? Here. Powers? Here. Hestetti? Here. Kretz? Here. McGivern? Here. And we have the Secretary's report uh, before us. Uh, I need consideration of the November, November 14th, 2023 minutes. Acceptance of minutes as stated. Motion and a second to approve the meetings. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Those who move forward. Uh, communications. Uh, Matt? Uh, we will have a new commissioner starting in January, so that's exciting. So we'll finally have a, a full commission, so nobody leave. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yes. Anything else? That's all. This will take us to old business, uh, case number COA 23-28. Request to re relocate the ADA ramps uh, into a building and add a building signages and improve the overall street presence at the Davenport Public Library, 321 Main Street. The Davenport Public Library, Edward Durrell Stone Building is a locally listed historic landmark in the Davenport Commercial Historic District. Legat Architects, on behalf of the City of Davenport Library, uh, is the petitioner. Matt? All right, so the Downtown Library on Main Street, uh, built in 1968 by Edward Durrell Stone. This is his only building in the City of Davenport. Um, it's an example of new formalism architecture. So the library is petitioning for improvements to the Main Street uh, facade of the building. So they appeared before the commission in September with a few different design options. Um, they took that feedback and have revised their plans uh, for formal approval this evening. Um, so before you on the screen is a site plan outlining those improvements, uh, which consist of two new monument signs. Uh, they decided to select the lower profile monument signs, one at the uh, northwest corner of the building near Main Street and 4th Street. And then a second sign um, on the south side of the building along Main Street and the alley. Um, the ADA entrance is being relocated to be placed directly in front of the main entrance along Main Street. There'll be various landscaping improvements, including new planters and relocating and reconfiguring the existing planters in front of the entrance. Um, improvements also include a new book sculpture and then relocating the bike rack so currently the bike rack is at that northwest corner where that monument sign is, so it's gonna be placed closer to the entrance. And then um, a new fence will span the length of that, uh, I guess we'll call it a retaining wall along Main Street. Um, so this slide shows the proposed monument sign. Uh, so it's about 43 square feet in area, um, just over four feet in height. So it'll state Davenport Public Library in black aluminum. And then the monument sign structure itself is concrete to kind of complement the character of the building itself. Um, here we see the proposed ADA ramp. So this lines directly with the front door of the library. So the ramp will be at the center. I'm sorry, the, there will be stairs at the center with the ramp branching off to the north and south to each side, so that'll kind of create some symmetry with the building, as well as making it convenient for um, anyone that requires ADA access, because currently the access point is actually closer to the intersection, kind of away from the main door. So this will put it uh, front and center. Um, so here's a rendering of the proposed site improvements. Um, so you can see the lower profile of the monument sign that was selected, so you kind of preserve some of those view corridors of the structure itself. Um, the railing will be a black railing, kind of complement the window trim on the structure and the proposed bike racks you can see in that uh, circle that down there on the right. Um, the concrete in front of the main entrance where the ramp and the staircases will be, um, that'll be torn out just in that section so currently it's a checkered pattern with the squares as an exposed aggregate. So they're proposing to do a colored concrete to kind of keep that character in line. 
Um, yeah, you can see just a few different vantage points um, of what that entrance will look like. Um, so with that, staff is recommending approval of the certificate of appropriateness for the site improvements. Uh, so the project was reviewed for conformance with our historic preservation ordinance. And it meets the following standard that new additions and related new construction shall not be discouraged when the improvements do not destroy historic material. And the design is compatible with the size, massing scale, color, material, and character of the property. I've got one. I'm just curious, and I apologize for not catching this. How the new ramp? How will that work in with the corresponding handicap spots? Because I know, like right now on Main Street, it's right near the alley, and you have to exit into the traffic to get there. I'm just curious: will the ramps will there be will there be handicap spots where the ramp begins? I can't line with like an architect. I guess I don't know the exact layout of the parking right along that street. I can look into that further. Uh, is there a handicapped parking right in front of the building? Yes. Yeah. Currently. Currently. Yes. Right at four. It's me. Right at four. So I guess it would be a little ways down from where the actual um, ADA parking mm -hmm. spots are. Is it only going to be the one handicapped mm -hmm. spot? Because it would make more sense if it was on the other street where they could exit left and get right up the ramp. Okay. Right by the alley, and then so it sounds like there's one by the alleyway towards the on Main Street, correct? Main Street. Yes, I know where that one's at. Correct. About where the car is in this photo. But there won't be a handicap on the other side. Don't you have another entrance coming in? There's just one. Entrance. There's just, there's the just one, one handicap entrance. Correct. Well, there's okay. one entrance. On the okay. Would you mind going it. back to the sure. floor plan? So there's one public entrance. Yeah. So right now, the ADA has created this route. Uh, so we're taking that. We're going to block that off. That's why the other one is the still there. Right. Saying. But your current ADA spot, your handicap spot, is down here. But will they be able to access your ramp from up there? Is my question. They will. They ha they'd have to come all the way down. They have to come all the side the down and then come up the ramp here. So yeah, I think your is point is we may want to look at the which may or may not be under our auspices to maybe relocate the handicap uh, on street parking spaces. Right. I just want to be sensitive to that issue. Mm -hmm. That, um, it, that it is completely accessible. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Collins, the library director. I'm not sure exactly what the concern is. Proximity, I think it's the proximity uh, of the existing handicap on street spaces marked right now. Yep. Which is on Main Street. If you exit, you're exiting into traffic because you're parking going up Main. So the driver is on the left side. So you're exiting into traffic well, that's always going to, be to go around. That's why I was thinking on 4th Street, if they had the one up there, it made more sense to have the ramp accessible because you're coming off right into the sidewalk into the ramp. That's my point. Where the driver's side door is relative to the sidewalk. So on, on 4th Street, the driver's side door would be right at the sidewalk. And we get to talk to the city about that. Yeah, oh yeah, that's not something that we would yeah, discuss with the city. I could provide comment to the city engineer to see sure. where those spaces are and if there's opportunity to relocate them. 4th Street will be converted to two way. So we could see oh. what that we could see what impact that might have as well. That's yeah, good. that's that's where I, I can figure out what yeah. Yeah. the concern is. Yeah. It's in the works, yes. Obviously if it's the driver whose whose description we're concerned about, that's one thing. If it's the driver, it's one thing. But I have seen over near Genesis East many vehicles, handicapped vehicles. They actually have a side, meaning the passenger side, center section. They come out with wheelchairs from there. If so, you're wheelchair, I can tell you as someone who was handicapped all last year, Yeah, it's very difficult as the driver if you're handicapped to come all the way around. I hear you. I it do. just depends on the, the, the type of handicap that you have. I guess ability. what we need to do is, is think. I, 
it's too bad it's going to be changing to two way yeah, because I if it were that. if it were going to remain the one way, then you would be able to encourage people to park on either Main Street if they're going to be exiting from the side, or on Fourth Street if they're exiting out of the driver's door. Yeah. At least for the next year or so. But. I'm just commenting based on personal experience <laughs> that it's something to think about. Point well made. Uh, any other uh, comments or questions from the commission? All right. Well, then uh, we have something before us. I need a recommendation. I recommend we approve the certificate of appropriateness as stated. I second it. I have a motion to approve uh, case number COA 23-28. Roll call, please. Correct. Yes. McGivern? Yes. Franken? Yes. Miranda? Yes. Powers? Yes. Hassetti? Yes. All right, that takes us to new business. We have none. Uh, other business, is there any other business? Okay, and then open forum for comment. Is there anyone from the public that would like to comment? I see no one, so motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Motion and second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.